Hey everybody, it's Steve with Real Progressives. You know, watching the Trump uh, appointments and watching these insane people get nods plugged into these various uh, positions should come as a shock to absolutely no one. You know, I think the the funny thing, the most important thing we can derive from all the Trump appointments is not in the fact that they're crazy. We knew they'd be crazy. It's the fact that Clinton would have done the exact same shit. There would have been a Goldman Sachs rep right up in that economic group. There would have been all the same insiders. Now, the only difference is, and this is why we should all rejoice, is that for once, for once, we got the entire team on the same side fighting against a common foe. Now, had Clinton gotten in there, folks, let's be fair. How many of these low information voters, how many of these low accountability citizens do you think would be up in arms if Clinton appointed yet another Goldman Sachs person? I'm just asking. I'm just questioning things. And what happens when Clinton appointed somebody who was pro-fracking or maybe even made a pro-fracking candidate her vice presidential candidate? I mean, the beautiful thing, and this is what you've got to keep in mind. For those of us who are actually progressives, not vote blue sycophants, we knew we were going to be fighting no matter what. The only difference is we get to welcome the vote blue sycophants onto the team momentarily, momentarily, so that we have a unified front fighting against the insanity that is the Donald Trump administration. No one ever confused Donald Trump as being good. What we did as progressives was realize that only Donald Trump only Donald Trump brought the vote blue sycophants off of their couch and into the party again. Only Donald Trump woke those lazy sons of bitches back to activism again. Only Donald Trump made them realize, holy shit, civil liberties? You mean Trump can kill American citizens without trial? Yeah, the NDAA wasn't just for Obama. The NDAA was for Republicans, too. That's right. Wake up. All these things you thought were so good under Obama that you didn't think twice about what happens if they get into the wrong hands made you blind to all the crimes Obama committed made you blind to all the crimes that Hillary would have committed and it would have championed the same thing and you would have been okay, you vote blue sycophants. Without progressives, there would have been no resistance under a Clinton administration. You guys would have tucked your tail up between your legs like a beta dog not an alpha dog, but a beta dog and you would have accepted your peas without question. But because Donald Trump's in there, look at the sycophants falling out of their seats. Oh, my God. But what about climate change? Oh, my God. What about fracking? Ermie Gerd. See how this works? At least we've got a unified resistance. That's what we were talking about, friends. A unified resistance because with Clinton in there, there would have been nothing but us progs fighting our asses off, looking like the crazy stepchildren, the crazy uncle at Thanksgiving that you just you think is yapping and you go, oh, that's just crazy grummy. <laughs> so the bottom line is, folks. Eat your peas with Trump because he's the only reason that we have the vote blue sycophants actually out in the streets fighting again. Now, they're still fighting for all the wrong reasons. They still worthlessly, worthlessly 
think that Clinton would have been good for America? I mean, let's be fair. We could taunt and tease them for that moronic behavior, right? Is it okay or is that bullying? Is it bullying to call them like morons and stuff? It is? Well, we'll find another word for them, won't we? But whatever it is, whatever it is, what? They are morons? I'm sorry. They still are morons, even if it's bullying. <laughs> Bottom line, we've got a unified front. Let's use it for all it's worth. And let's remind them that until they get rid of the likes of Chuck Schumer, until they get rid of the likes of Nancy Pelosi, until they get rid of the likes of Donna Brazil, until they get rid of the likes of all these worthless vote blues, these people that don't understand anything, the Elizabeth Warrens who suddenly after it's over say, oh yeah, by the way, I, are we supposed to stand with Standing Rock? We are? Yay, we're Standing Rock. We're so together. Wait, sh what? Yeah. Okay, it's okay for me to say that now? All, everything. There's no trouble with me saying that? Okay. I've been there from the beginning, fighting with you for Standing Rock. <laughs> Folks, vote blues are about as useless as a piece of toilet paper sitting in a sink full of water. That's about what they're good for. But right now... Let them be valuable. Let them be useful. Let them actually get off thy couch and participate in democracy. That's what this is all about, folks. Never confuse Donald Trump as good. But never, ever, ever confuse the fact that these fools will be sound asleep for the next four to eight years if the shill was the one that won. Sorry to wake you from your slumber. Sorry to ruin your hibernation period. Yes, you got to participate in democracy. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. So with that, I'm Steve with Real Progressives saying celebrate the fact that we've got partners, partners, at least temporarily in the fight against Donald Trump celebrate. There is some good coming out of this. The vote blues have woken up. With that, I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives. Please donate to our Patreon account. Please follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and of all things, go to our website. If you want to write, write for us. If you want to volunteer, volunteer. Either way, stick with Real Progressives. We'll keep it real. Have a good night, everybody.